हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी लुकिंग एट अ वेरी कूल लिटिल एंगुलर 14 इमेज ज़ूम लाइब्रेरी व्हिच बेसिकली अलाउज यू टू बेसिकली ज़ूम इन मैग्नीफाई द इमेजेस दैट यू सी इनसाइड योर प्रोडक्ट इमेजेस यू हैव सीन दिस फिल्टर इफेक्ट्स इनसाइड Amazon Flipkart ऑल दिस शॉपिंग कार्ट वेबसाइट्स वेयर दे अलाउ यू टू सी द प्रोडक्ट इन मैग्नीफाई द प्रोडक्ट और ज़ूम द प्रोडक्ट इमेजेस सो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट how to integrate this cool little filter inside angular 14 application you will see this is round in shape and uh, you are you can just basically see the image in full screen zoom mode you can see that uh, let me change this image and if i try out a different image here of a person image what i will found that let me just change this if i refresh here now you can see that uh, let me also change this so you can see that it is looking great here you can see let me change it to the previous one you can see that so in this way we will be integrating the zoom here so let me first of all tell you which uh, which library we are using for this all the source code is given in the description of the video i have written a complete blog post explaining step by step instruction so you can go to the description to copy paste all the source code so we are using a dependency guys which is if you go to npm js and just type here ngx image zoom the very first result which comes which this is the library six almost 7000 weekly downloads are there and it supports multiple options you will see this is the thumbnail thumbnail image the full image and uh, this full screen image if you see the options here this is not required if i delete this then also this will work you can see but the zooming level will not be great so you need to change this uh, from 1 to 5 so higher the number then more the zoom level you will see that so all these things you can control so let me just start from scratch here and delete all this so the very first thing you need to do guys you first of all need to create a brand new angular 14 application and then you just need to install this dependency and npm i ngx dash image dash zoom so simply execute this command i have already installed it and after you install this just go to your app.module.ts file and here you just need to include this line at the very top so right here you just need to include this so here you just need to include this you can follow the blog post that i have given here guys step by step instruction i have given so here you just need to include this ngx image and just include this and now you need to close it go to app.component.html and then i have given this code here simply copy this and this supports various options if i paste it here you will see this image these two variables we need to declare here and in, if you go to app.component.ts file and here you can you can see we have taken the example of a image from a url you can take any image of your choice totally depends upon you and uh, now we have if you go to the application you will see that and if you check the documentation they you can change this uh, width let's suppose if i change to 200 width and height of the lens that we are using to you can see that now it changes to a very 
lower number of width and height you can just specify the width and the height you can control all the lengths width and height and this circular lens if you change it to false this will not be a circle this will be changing to a square one you will see that so you can just control it and now if you want do, don't want to zoom the image on hover if you want to click the image and then hover or then need to basically zoom the image then we also have the click one if you just want to provide an option here which is zoom mode the default value is uh, on hover but you can even change it to click so now what will happen here if you now click the image then only it will work let me see here what is zoom mode Let me see here. Toggle click. I don't know why it is creating the problem, but in the documentation they have. I don't know why it is creating a problem. So it's just delete this. You can try this option on your own end. And then as I already told you, you can change the 1 to 4. This will increase the zoom level. You will see that it will now zoom in more. But I think the correct value is 1. So you can see this is perfect zoom level. And various options are more there. You can just... I think that's all this is for so definitely this is a very good library all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video